Hi, and welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you joined us. We're reading the entire Bible this year in chronological order. If you'd like to download a copy of the reading plan, just go to blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. And would you do me a huge favor and subscribe to this podcast? You can subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and on YouTube, and that will help others find this podcast. This is Day 46. Today, we're reading from the book of Leviticus, chapters 8 through 10. The Third Book of Moses, commonly called Leviticus, chapters 8 through 10. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments and the anointing oil, and the bull of the sin offering, and the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble all the congregation at the door of the tent of meeting. Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and the congregation was assembled at the door of the tent of meeting. Moses said to the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded to be done. Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. He put the tunic on him, tied the sash on him, clothed him with the robe, put the ephod on him, and he tied the skillfully woven band of the ephod on him, and fastened it to him with it. He placed the breastplate on him. He put the urim and the thummim in the breastplate. He set the turban on his head. He set the golden plate, the holy crown, on the front of the turban, as the Lord commanded Moses. Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was in it, and sanctified them. He sprinkled it on the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all its vessels, and the basin and its base, to sanctify them. He poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head, and anointed him to sanctify him. Moses brought Aaron's sons and clothed them with tunics and tied sashes on them, and put headbands on them, as the Lord commanded Moses. He brought the bull of the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the bull of the sin offering. He killed it, and Moses took the blood, and put it around on the horns of the altar with his finger, and purified the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar, and sanctified it to make atonement for it. He took all the fat that was on the innards, and the cover of the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and Moses burned it on the altar. But the bull, and its skin, and its meat, and its dung, he burned with fire outside the camp, as the Lord commanded Moses. He presented the ram of the burnt offering, Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram. He killed it, and Moses sprinkled the blood around on the altar. He cut the ram into pieces, and Moses burned the head and the pieces and the fat. He washed the innards and the legs with water, and Moses burned the whole ram on the altar. It was a burnt offering for a pleasant aroma. It was an offering made by fire to the Lord as the Lord commanded Moses. He presented the other ram, the ram of consecration. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram. He killed it, and Moses took some of its blood and put it on the tip of Aaron's right ear and on the thumb of his right hand and on the great toe of his right foot. He brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put some of the blood on the tip of their right ear, and on the thumb of their right hand, and on the great toe of their right foot. And Moses sprinkled the blood around on the altar. He took the fat, the fat tail, all the fat that was on the innards, the cover of the liver, the two kidneys and their fat, and the right thigh. 
and out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake, one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer, and placed them on the fat of the right thigh. He put all these in Aaron's hands and in his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. Moses took them from their hands and burned them on the altar on the burnt offering. They were a consecration offering for a pleasant aroma. It was an offering made by fire to the Lord. Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before the Lord. It was Moses' portion of the ram of consecration, as the Lord commanded Moses. Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood which was on the altar and sprinkled it on Aaron, on his garments, and on his sons, and on his son's garments with him, and sanctified Aaron, his garments, and his sons, and his son's garments with him. Moses said to Aaron and to his sons, Boil the meat at the door of the tent of meeting, and there eat it, and the bread that is in the basket of consecration, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. What remains of the meat and of the bread you shall burn with fire. You shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting for seven days until the days of your consecration are fulfilled, for he shall consecrate you seven days. What has been done today, so the Lord has commanded to do to make atonement for you. You shall stay at the door of the tent of meeting day and night seven days, and keep the Lord's command that you don't die, for so I am commanded. Aaron and his sons did all the things which the Lord commanded by Moses. On the eighth day, Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel, and he said to Aaron, Take a calf from the herd for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering, without defect and offer them before the Lord. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, Take a male goat for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both a year old, without defect, for a burnt offering, and a bull and a ram for peace offerings, to sacrifice before the Lord, and a meal offering mixed with oil, for today the Lord appears to you. They brought what Moses commanded before the tent of meeting. All the congregations came near and stood before the Lord. Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that you should do, and the Lord's glory shall appear to you. Moses said to Aaron, Draw near to the altar and offer your sin offering and your burnt offering, and make atonement for yourself and for the people and offer the offering of the people, and make atonement for them, as the Lord commanded. So Aaron came near to the altar, and killed the calf of the sin offering which was for himself. The sons of Aaron presented the blood to him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it on the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the base of the altar. But the fat and the kidneys and the cover from the liver of the sin offering he burned upon the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. The meat and the skin he burned with fire outside the camp. He killed the burnt offering, and Aaron's sons delivered the blood to him, and he sprinkled it around on the altar. They delivered the burnt offering to him piece by piece, and the head. He burned them upon the altar. He washed the innards and the legs and burned them on the burnt offering on the altar. He presented the people's offering and took the goat of the sin offering, which was for the people, and killed it and offered it for sin like the first. He presented the burnt offering and offered it according to the ordinance. He presented the meal offering and filled his hand from there and burned it upon the altar in addition to the burnt offering of the morning. He also killed the bull and the ram, the sacrifice of peace offerings, which was for the people. 
Aaron's sons delivered to him the blood which he sprinkled around on the altar, and the fat of the bull and of the ram, the fat tail, and that which covers the innards, and the kidneys, and the cover of the liver. And they put the fat upon the breasts, and he burned the fat on the altar. Aaron waved the breasts and the right thigh for a wave offering before the Lord, as Moses commanded. Aaron lifted up his hands toward the people and blessed them. And he came down from offering the sin offering and the burnt offering and the peace offerings. Moses and Aaron went into the tent of meeting and came out and blessed the people. And the Lord's glory appeared to all the people. Fire came out from before the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fat upon the altar. When all the people saw it, they shouted and fell on their faces. Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, each took his censer and put fire in it and laid incense on it and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. Fire came out from before the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke of, saying, I will show myself holy to those who come near me, and before all the people I will be glorified. Aaron held his peace. Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uzziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said to them, Draw near, carry your brothers from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they came near and carried them in their tunics out of the camp, as Moses had said. Moses said to Aaron and to Eleazar and to Ithamar, his sons, Don't let the hair of your heads go loose, and don't tear your clothes so that you don't die, and so that he will not be angry with all the congregation. But let your brothers, the whole house of Israel, be well the burning which the Lord has kindled. You shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting, lest you die, for the anointing oil of the Lord is on you. They did according to the word of Moses. Then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons are not to drink wine or strong drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting, or you will die. This shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. You are to make a distinction between the holy and the common and between the unclean and the clean. You are to teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken to them by Moses. Moses spoke to Aaron and to Eleazar and to Ithamar, his sons who were left. Take the meal offering that remains of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without yeast beside the altar, for it is most holy, and you shall eat it in a holy place because it is your portion and your son's portion of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. The waved breast and the heaved thigh you shall eat in a clean place, you and your sons and your daughters with you, for they are given as your portion and your son's portion out of the sacrifices of the peace offerings of the children of Israel. They shall bring the heaved thigh and the waved breast with the offerings made by fire of the fat to wave it for a wave offering before the Lord. It shall be yours and your sons with you as a portion forever, as the Lord has commanded. Moses diligently inquired about the goat of the sin offering, and behold, it was burned. He was angry with Eleazar and with Ithamar, the sons of Aaron who were left, saying, Why haven't you eaten the sin offering in the place of the sanctuary, since it is most holy, and he has given it to you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord? Behold, its blood was not brought into the inner part of the sanctuary. You certainly should have eaten it in the sanctuary, as I commanded. Aaron spoke to Moses, Behold, today they have offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things as these have happened to me. 
If I had eaten the sin offering today, would it have been pleasing in the Lord's sight? When Moses heard that, it was pleasing in his sight. Father God, sometimes the accounts we read in your word seem harsh, as when Aaron's sons were consumed by fire. Yet you had given the command that no incense was to be offered before you except that which you had spoken through Moses. Theirs was an act of disobedience, as hard as that may be to accept. And Father, it makes us all the more grateful for the new covenant, a covenant of grace and not of law. We know that the wages of sin is death, but we also know that Jesus paid that price for us. Help us to live in a manner worthy of his sacrifice. Father, we are forever grateful for your mercy and your unending love. Amen. I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook community and to share your thoughts about today's reading. I put a link in the notes. And if you enjoy these episodes, it would mean a lot to me if you would rate and review the podcast. Again, thank you for joining me as we read the Bible in a year. I can't wait to see you tomorrow as we continue our journey. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.